Hey guys, it's Heather Man here. I'm super excited about March because it's the month of International Women's Day. And by the way, in case you haven't been following me, I absolutely love talking about financial literacy and how to be an independent male and female. Um, and I hope you don't mind me speaking with sunglasses today because I'm dying for some sunshine. It's actually not that warm here, hence I'm still wearing a coat but this is spring vibes for you. But I guess my main message in this video is all about why are women still paid less than men, you know? And there is a major, major issue with this. And for the world of venture capital, which is the world where investment banking occurs, where people are getting investment into their companies, where you pitch for a, an investment for your company or you take your company public, etc. Whatever that is. Now, the problem I'm seeing as I'm digging deeper into this industry is that only 2% of women get all the allocation in the world into their female-led companies, you know? So it's quite frustrating. And when I really think about this topic at detail and at length, it really, really frustrates me, which is why I'm doing this video, because I want to reach out to men and women. I always get men on my events and my uh, as my program mentees, people who are under my coaching. I have male and female mentees. I'm getting a lot more female, so I'm very happy with that. But the biggest problem I'm seeing is that women still take a back step they take a back seat when it comes to money they almost all, I don't know what they're waiting for so this is where I want to help you with a few steps what you can do to really raise your game first and foremost you're gonna need some evidence as to what is really happening with women and why are they getting paid less than men so I have two book recommendations you know I love a book so I'm gonna start with a couple of books that I feel you could really benefit from this one is why women are poorer than men and what we can do about it. Amazing book. If there's one book that you have to read about the pay, gender pay gap and how big and real it is, this is the one. And I really, really want every single female to read this. I should really be getting Annabelle Williams to sponsor this video, but you know, anyway, she's gonna thank me later one day. The other one is of course, Melinda Gates, who I have huge respect for. This is Bill Gates' ex-wife, and it's called The Moment of Lift, How Empowering Women Changes the World. She's a real feminist, huge respect for her. Follow her Instagram as well. Honestly, this woman talks about, she was my first idol when it came to feminism, etc. Uh, this I came across later, but I feel like this book really helps on a more practical level. This one is more, this is quite deep actually. It gets, she goes to third world countries a lot, and it gets a little bit moving, but, Anyway, my point is, so for women who want to really play that bigger game, if they're, if they're frustrated in being second best in everything in life, you know, and that's true. Nobody else really wants to talk about it. I think the world that we live in, unfortunately, kind of makes everyone feel like an equal just because women can vote, just because women can do things that, you know, they can have the same careers, etc. But if you really dig in deep into the detail, women are always paid less, always paid less. You can have any, any career path women will get paid less and a lot of it and this is going to be horrible to say comes down to their option of having children now women who choose to have children shouldn't have to take a step back in their careers as much as they do or as much as the pay uh, gap really shows because for example even i have when i'm working on a project and this is a real issue and i think it's going to be quite bad for women when they hear this but this is the truth i had this project i was working on me and another female from a tier one bank we were really excited about the healthcare project etc we had some certain deadlines to get hold of and the female was you know she went through a pregnancy she gave birth and uh, we had deadlines to meet, you know, we wanted to take this company through to a New York investment bank. It was gonna be acquired through a SPAC and taken public, etc. And the whole thing got delayed because this woman was key to it. You know, we really wanted to have her shining on this project. But the reason why she kind of fell short is because of her choice to have children. And I am going to be very direct about this. If I'm employing someone or if I am going to put someone in a major position of power that could affect the profitability of my company I am going to not be very happy if they want to take time off for kids I know it sounds horrible but it is I mean okay the the you know like how men have two weeks off or maybe sometimes they have a month or two that's fine but like it slows down women so much 
that's really bad and that I have to be honest about me coming from a female saying that about another female this is the reality and so if women are going to be really ambitious be careful when you have children I'm not saying don't have them but be careful when you have them and once you have them be careful of how you keep that momentum going like prepare for this i've had a really successful female that i've mentored i took her from 18,000 a month to making 200,000 a month she had a child in between that was part of the plan and it was an amazing plan she got married etc and one thing i really pushed her to do was don't try and do everything yourself like try and get a bit of help and a nanny in house like don't disconnect yourself from your child of course but really get some extra help in and she did and she maintained the momentum and she was a very very inspirational example for all women so it is possible my bottom line it's possible but women get this real attachment to women you know they step back and and that's a major problem so when you have children must be thought about really carefully don't be afraid to not have them if you don't want them. You know, there is nothing incomplete about females if they don't feel to have, want to have a child. Like, this is a real big thing. In fact, in one of the books you read, um, Melinda Gates talks about it, one of the key factors for women becoming uh, wealthier or countries becoming wealthier is when women get educated and women have birth control. So when women choose to not have children, you know, like if, just imagine you are a female without any birth control you're gonna randomly keep popping up kids. That's completely gonna hold you back in life. But if you plan your child specifically when you want, far better for you. So that's a huge impact on the third world. Birth control is what will make the third world grow economically and get to a higher place in life. Um, but it comes down to women education, which now brings me to my second point. So first point is, I should say we are on the third point. First point is get aware really get aware of the facts read those two books i've just given you um number two you know women plan your children or, cho or choose not to have one like be confident about your choices don't be pressured to have kids when you don't want to because this is really key number three is education financial literacy is everything like literally everything women don't really like finances as much as men Obviously me becoming the first female trader and an educator in the whole world in 2012. It's crazy. In 2012, I was the first on the planet speaking at you know, major circuits as a female trader and investor and educator. This is a bad statistic. The fact that I had to be the first in 2012. Obviously, you know, at the time I had 80% male audience because no one was used to seeing females on the stage. But I'm changing that and I love that. And now my audience is 50-50 and I'll be honest, at the Billionaire Project and at the higher end stuff, I'm attracting some incredible women, like powerhouse women that I'm so proud of. So I know what work I'm doing is really making an impact. So I'm just being very vocal about this and telling you that your financial literacy is 100% linked to whether or not you're gonna be a competitor to the male field. So what you need to do is go to every event or every place that they're educating you on, either investment banking, taking your companies public, how to pitch for capital, all the stuff I do in the Billionaire Project, every female who is ambitious should be on it. And you should be learning about business scaling, obviously that's like going backwards now, and just general peak performance. If you're in a corporate role and you're thinking, how can this apply to me? Well, I have a corporate executive that I'm training right now, and she wants to be a venture capitalist because she's got millions in the bank she's a very high paid individual and she's always been in a job so she's kind of not confident to understand whether a pitch is a good pitch what does she look for in a pitch deck how does she read a p l uh, you know anything you know just simple stuff that most investment bankers or a venture capitalist or anyone who's an investor or professional investor can really understand i educate individuals in this so financial literacy even if you're in a job learn it because you will one day well you will always have to make an investment in your future in your retirement and these kind of things should start at, at 40 years old minimum um, if you haven't started already I mean I, I started in my 20s but 40 years old and up you should be changing your whole life to be like oh my gosh I need to secure my future 
if you're in your 20s this is an example for you like you need to get on it now like I learned about IPOs in my 20s and I never ever thought I'd be interested in them but I learned it anyway because I knew I don't want to be left out and only men can talk about it so my point is learn everything learn everything financial trading is a game changer everything I do at Fortune Academy and the billionaire project is very relevant for you male and female but obviously I'm very focused on the female angle right now because International Women's Day is on Wednesday I think 8th of March and I'm super excited about that so just to recap number one get very very aware of the problem read the books as a minimum number two plan or decide if and when you're gonna have children. Like, don't just do it because your partner says so or because society says so. Like, honestly, that one thing is a game changer for women. Number three, financial education. Like, literally, you need to go crazy with it. Like, everything. Stop being afraid of investments and financial stuff. Like, the words scare women. I honestly feel like financial trading, before I started doing it on stages and showing people how it works, women weren't interested but they're slowly getting more interested so this is why I do what I do so I hope you guys took away from that and if you're watching this and you're a male pass this video share it to someone who is a female that needs this you know and and just stop relying on somebody else that's gonna help you every female should make their own money forever should have their own money and I'm here to help you so click on the link below and you'll see a link that you can just join my database you'll get access to all the free events I do I do them on a regular basis once twice a month well twice a month on average you can come to that just come to a free event and you will see what I'm talking about everything I do will help you move forward in your financial game so I'm super excited come on ladies we need to make this whole gender gap minimizing your lifetime I'm not saying it's gonna be over in our lifetime pray it does but let's try our best and I'm gonna keep pushing I'm very excited about helping everyone and women are definitely definitely stronger mentally than men take it from me so thanks guys for watching uh, watch my youtube on a regular subscribe to this youtube channel and click on the link below to register for my channel.